Hey guys, welcome to Reasons to Talk, presented by Reasons to Win. I like how and you just go ahead and start. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. You gotta be ready on your toes all the time. Presented by Reasons to Win and Central Triad Church, where we transform lives, produce believers, and impact the world. Yes. So what are we doing today, babe? Today I have some conversation starters for people that are in relationships. Mm, so this is just for the starting relationships? It could be either or, because, I mean, if you Married think about it. for 20 it, years, 30 years, 40 years, I mean, years, if you think about years. it, like, sometimes we change. Like, think about, like, how sometimes you might have felt one way in the beginning, and now you feel a different way because... It's okay to have those conversations. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I can do that. I don't know what I'm going to say, so go ahead. All right, let's get into it. All right, first question. Um, would you lie to make me happy? And where would you draw the line? <laughs> I'm coming at you with a hard question, okay? <laughs> yes, I will lie. Uh-huh. I, I wouldn't call it lies. Like, what you call them? A I, white lie? Yeah. I didn't call it white lie. It's weird. I don't know if she looked that up. Yeah. But look at it while I talk. All right, go ahead. Um, yeah, I will. Because sometimes, uh... You ask questions, and then I'm like, "Mm, if I say this, it's like slow-mo for me because I got to go ahead and spit it out. So it's like Matrix time. Oh, You know, I feel like I'm in the speed force, so I'm slowing down everything. Now, like, if I say this, she going to say this. And if I say that, she going to do this. So all of this goes through your... Always. Okay. Any question that you may ask me, you know, do I look fat? You know, not saying that, oh, I just... (laughs) You yes. Ooh, ooh. Or sometimes I don't care. Like I feel like you try on like ten different things. You don't yeah. do this that much now. No, but not now. You're trying on ten different things, and then I'm like, okay. Before I just just pick one, then you really you caught on. You yeah. caught on to it. Yeah. So I'll be like, I will point out something. This one said, I don't really like that because of this, but I like this one because of that. And I really didn't care which one you wear. But why don't you care? Because you. You look good in everything, babe. Oh, okay. Is that a, a, a lie? You like that. <laughs> Is that a white lie? <laughs> Y'all like that. How about you? Um, yeah, I'd lie to you. Dang. But no. <laughs> say like, say like I know, nothing. that came out wrong. Um, yeah, like you said, I would tell a white lie because, you know, I don't want to make you feel bad. Right, give me an example. Um, remember when you first started growing your hair out? Mm-hmm. And you were kind of like self conscious about it. Mm-hmm. Tell the world. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, you you asked me. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it, everyone goes through that little stage of you You're know talking with the locks. Yeah, with the locks, it's a little bit. You know, it you go through that bad. stage. It wasn't that bad, but I mean, ooh, that. Okay. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it was. So you had me looking at it like a. You knew if you had told me the truth, yeah, I would cut it all off. Uh huh. And I knew you weren't going to get to this where you at now. Uh-huh. But look at you now. Okay. You got some hang time. Hang time. See? Okay. <laughs> Everyone has to go through that stage. Everyone mm. knows, right? I mean, come on. If you got locks or you know somebody got locks, you already know. So here's one. Uh, what <clears throat> is a relationship? deal breaker for you well it's kind of mess. you know we married now so yeah ain't too many deal breakers we can no. do maybe it could be but yeah. uh but when you was uh when we first started dating what was your deal breaker what was one of your deal breakers um do you even remember that far back no it's not that far back but you know whatever um i mean i didn't really honestly i didn't really worry a whole lot with you because like my main concern was like who's is he gonna love my son you know, the way that I do. Oh. And you already had. Zion. Yeah. Oh. So I really didn't have nothing to worry about. And then you didn't do none of the things that I didn't like. Like, you know, you were, you know, a good dude. Yeah. So uh, one of my deal breakers was drugs. Well, that's what I'm saying. I knew you didn't do none of that. Yeah. And you were a church going man. So I didn't really. I know have... some church growing people. I mean, <laughs> I'm church. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm not but joking. I didn't really have anything to worry about. I yeah. don't feel like. But that's something y'all can ask your. Yeah, it's definitely a good question. Yeah, it's cause... a great question because y'all could be saving y'all months or years yeah. worth of trouble. Yeah. You ask that person like, hey, man, what's your deal breaker? Oh, feet. Oh, no, I got a problem with my feet, too. Now, let's go our separate way. You know, something. 
you know, whatever. What's the next one? Oh. <sighs> okay, next one. Um, what was the best moment in our relationship so far? Oh, that is a good Best question. moment. That's a good question. Let's see. My best moment. Oh, there's so many, though. There's so many. Um... I know. Just name one out of like the one. top three, or top um, five, or something. Having Izzy. Uh, That's a good one. Um, being able to place Izzy in your arms. That was. That was awesome. pretty dope. That was. Great. And you get to do it again. Yes, Ivy. Ivy in the building. Go yes. ahead, give me one of yours. Um, probably. Like our first trip to Asheville. That was fun. Yeah, that was. A that lot was of a great moment. Mm-hmm. We get walking. <laughs> Piano bar. Yes. It was great. That was the bear great. that you saw, that yeah. she said she saw. I did. It... Oh, no. Okay. We I were... ain't seen no bear. Anyway. But the bear said, oh, Chester coming. Let me hide. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't make any sense. The bear sense. had other bear things to do. Okay. Well, it's another moment, a relationship moment. Uh, maybe our first uh, sit down, uh, coffee. Oh, yeah, that was that nice. Was yeah. Mm-hmm. I was so nervous. Yeah. Uh, my armpits were so sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> it was sweaty. Well, good thing it was cold and you had a jacket on, yes. so I didn't see it. Because yeah. then I probably would have been grossed out. Mm. Oh, I'm just wow. kidding. <laughs> well. I'm just joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hurt my feelings. I'm just kidding. That's what you do? That's what you do now? <sighs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Are there any times you feel lonely, left out, or like I'm not reachable emotionally? Um, sometimes, yeah. Especially when you're playing like Call of Duty, like, oh my gosh, talking to the wall. Or my favorite, where you have the headphones on and I don't realize that you're um playing Call of Duty yet because you're not being like super loud like you normally are. And then I'm still just, like talking to you, thinking you can hear me and then you can't. Yeah, that's not fun. So you feel like you. <laughs> I feel emo- you are, I feel like you're emotionally unavailable for me well, when you play, Call, play of Call of Duty. Yep. <laughs> yes. I feel like you are not emotionally uh, reachable when I play Call of Duty. I just said the same thing. That I feel the sense. same way because I feel like you know you can say, "Hey, that's his time." No, you know, but if you and, would uh, give me a heads up when you're about to play, what happens? I'm I thinking, don't want to give you a heads I'm up because then you'll be like, uh, I think you, let's go over here. Let's go do this. And then, oh, that's what I sound like? Yes. No, you don't sound like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> you'll stop me from playing Call of Duty. Okay, but listen. Like, oh, let's I'm wash thinking, these dishes. But, like, man, I won't play Call. Okay, listen. This is what happens. Okay, so I'm like doing my own thing or whatever. And I'm thinking he's working hard in his little man cave. Yeah, I do. I think he's working. And then all of a sudden I hear, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, go back. Uh-uh, run, they're coming. And I'm like. On me, on me, on me. <laughs> and I'm like, what is happening? Wow. What? That's what you sound like for so real. So I need to tell you every time about I mean, not every time, but a heads up would be nice. Now, any other time <laughs> other than Call of Duty Ray, that you feel that's the main one that sticks out right now. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Me? No, I feel like you emotionally engage. Thank you. I try to be. Yeah. Uh, I don't have one. You got another one? <laughs> do two more. All right. Um, that's a good question to answer your spouse or your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Yeah, it's very relevant. Um, hmm. Uh, what's one thing about me you would like to change? Absolutely nothing. Whatever. <laughs> That's a good answer. But no, tell the truth. Um. T- uh. I don't, nothing. I'm dead serious. So you like everything I do the way that I do it. Okay, I got one. Oh, okay. I got one. Uh-huh. Here we go. Um, Like when you get in your cleanup spells, oh. <laughs> I'd rather you just clean up normal. She's an angry, clean up person. The house be looking good, though. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody's scared of devil and trying to help. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you feel like it or not. She's throwing everything around. Yeah, when I clean up, you're going to know I'm cleaning Pick up. up. <laughs> Picking up the trash can and slamming it down. Like, oh, man. <laughs> Just angry. Angry at the world. I'll change that. Okay. How about you? I wish that you were a little bit more neater. And not to, that was completely not playing off of your answer whatsoever. But y'all know, like, your friends, your college friends, they already know. They too. I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't know their lifestyle. I'm just saying, like, they didn't tell me until after the fact. And they're like, oh, you didn't know? Jeez, you making me like I'm a, a terrible, messy person. I didn't say, I didn't even tell how messy. I just said, I wish you were less messy. I mean, no one knows my standards of cleanliness, right? So how would they know? Now they're making up stuff right now. Okay. <laughs> well, that's my answer. <laughs> just a little less messy. I, mean, I wish you wouldn't use so many cups. You used too that many just cups. Hap- that just happened. No, you just no, did- oh whatever. Used too babe. many cups. Okay. <laughs> Don't have to get a fresh cup every single time. What will you define as cheating? That's a good question to answer. It is a good question. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Because, um, I, mean, we talk to people, they, they're like, you cheating? They're like, I ain't cheating. But, yeah. And that's something to think of. You know, it it's is. an expectation uh, that you can put out there. People have different, um, you know, terms of cheating. So what's, your, what's yours? Um, or before? I already know what it is. Yeah. I mean... Honestly, like, just, you know, you can't be looking at other uh, women um, doing things on the TV or the computer. Oh, yes. Pornography is cheating. Yes, I don't for know sure. how else they will ever put it together. Right. It's cheating. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we had you know, we had people where they're like, no, I don't think it's cheating. Right. Think, you know. It's part of the norm. But it's something to talk about. It is. Yeah. Because what did Jesus say? And you look at a woman in lustful thoughts. Right. It's, it's, it's committing adultery. Right. Um, let's see. Me spending, like, if you know, just knowing that other person likes you or, or um, yeah. you know, attracted to mm-hmm. you. And then you know. You, you entertain it. Yeah, you're entertaining it. No, that's a problem for me. Right. Just having that time. You know, even that's time for me, for me. Right. You know, you taking that time for me and I don't like that. Mm-hmm. That I. I think that's cheating, period. I feel it. With a T, period. <laughs> you know? Yep. Yes. So, uh, there was some couple questions. Oh, not couple. This was, <laughs> I don't know how many questions we yeah, did. Yeah, I don't know how many but questions But it's something was, to but... uh, talk about. Yeah, it is. Your, I think those were good. Your, yeah. Then, and do it now. Is, uh, I just found out some things <laughs> just talking to her. And uh, maybe I'll try to be more neater, you know, mm-hmm. and more, you know, Call of Duty less. Stuff, I guess. Use less cups. And less cups. <laughs> Pretty sure she didn't hear anything I said. I did. I but, did. I took, I'm taking notes, mental notes. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, write down in the comments. Do you got any other questions that you made that you think people should ask? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot more questions oh, that yeah. you should ask, you know. Um, These are good, some good starting points. Yeah. You should ask a bunch of questions and have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Because that person might not be for you. I'll be honest. I'm being dying. Yeah, you're right. And some people do save a long time of hurt if they give expectations. This is so true. You know. But anyway, this is Reasons to Talk. Presented by Reasons to Win. And also Central Triad Church. Thank y'all for joining us today. Go ahead and hit that like. Bless that like button. Yeah. Bless that share button. And bless that comment and all that good stuff. Oh, subscribe. Bless that subscribe button. Yes, please. Thank you guys so much.